everyone, I am the Winter Bunny and today I'll be showing how to make this really cool ghost charm and this is for Halloween and with the bottom parts you don't have to have it with kind of feet so I'll show you how to take that out but you can keep it like this if you want but anyway, let's get started you, you'll need a rainbow loom you'll need a hook you'll need two black bands and you'll need about a hundred white bands so to start off you want to grab two bands and go like that then you want to grab another two bands and put it on like that now grab another two bands we're always using double bands unless I say we're using single bands and you want to put it down like that oh and make sure your red arrow is facing down so anyway do the same thing on your right and also do it again on both sides and now before we close it up we want to do the middle Okay, so I just put those on and now again the middle and again just like that. So it should look something like this now. And then we're going to keep on going. And we need to close that off. If you've made my penguin charm or bunny charm, this should be easy to make. And now, here's the part where you can choose. So, you can use one band for this part because when you're hooking, there'll be so many bands, it'll be hard. But if you use one band, it can snap easily. But if you use two, then there will be lots of bands and then it will be really hard to hook. So I'm going to use two bands. You can use one band if you want. It doesn't really matter. But it will be really hard to fix it up if any of your bands snap. But anyway, after you've chosen if you want to use single bands or double bands, keep using double bands afterwards. So we're going now five times. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side and for the middle we're just going to keep going down until until let's say so we're just going to put on two more bands for the middle and now we want to grab our hook and we'll just focus on the hook because we'll be doing a bit of stuff on the hook and what you want to do is grab one band twist it so there will be three loops grab another two bands slide them onto your hook like that and then grab another two bands sliding through just like that 
So now, grab another two bits. But, you don't want to close it up. What you want to do is, come back to your loom, grab two bands, and evenly put them on, like that, and stretch these remaining two down like that. And you want to repeat the same thing. So grab one band, twist 83 loops. Oops, it's not that clear if I zoom in. But anyway, do that and do it again. And do it one more time. And do the same thing with it. Put it on like that. Stretch it. So that. And make sure they're not twisted, not like that. And just put it on. And skip these two. Like that. And we'll add a few more bands and then we can start hooking. So, you want to grab the two black bands. You can do them one at a time. I'm just going to do both. Put it on. Twist them. Put them back on again. Twist them. And put them on. So you should be able to see three loops. One, two, three. And say on the other side. One, two, and three. Push them down. Grab a white band and put it on. Then grab another one. Twist it. Put it on like that. And then grab another band. Twist it. Double twist it. And stretch from here to here. Like that, come down to here, grab a band and just put it on like that. Grab another band, and make a triangle, like that, and push it down. Grab another band, put it on like that. To the hook, we want to actually go up here. We're going to do a little bit and then we will begin with the real hook. So just pull over the bottom three bands. If that's hard, you can just pull over one at a time. Like this, you can just do one if you haven't got a strong hook. Inside the cat band, grab the bottom bands, the bottom two bands, and hook it up. You don't have to use two, you don't have to hook two, two bands at a time. You can hook one band, but I like hooking two. So push them down. As you can see, there's this loose band inside it you don't want to put it inside it and you can see it stretches here 
grab the bolts and two bands, hook it up, and you can see here, this this loose band, stretch it out. put these triangle bands is so that the ghost charm is all in one piece and you can see them when you stretch it out but if you didn't have them they'll be everywhere so that's why we use them but anyway go back to the middle just go through those bands and hook them up do the same thing here inside this band, grab these two and hook it up. Now here's a bit of the tricky part and I'll go slowly for this part. So carefully go inside this band. Don't put these ones. Go inside these three bands as you can see. Then grab the bottom two bands and hook them up. Try not to snap them, that would be very good. But if you already know how to do that, just speed up the second part of it. Because I'll be going slowly for the other side. But hook the middle like normal. For the right side, go inside these three bands that are separated. And then stretch them and hook them upwards like that. So now we've done one of the hardest parts. And now you can just go inside that one band normally. Don't hook the middle yet, so just flip it. Go inside the band. And for this part you might be a bit stuck, but it's way easier, just don't get confused by these bands. So push it inwards so it looks like it's matching up. Go inside that one band, grab these two, and carefully put them there. And now you can put the middle. This is so that the neck kind of area looks even and hook that side as well and hook it to the middle and now here comes the trickier part this part is probably the hardest but if you experience it probably won't be as hard but what you want to do is go through all of these bits all of them until this band just suddenly snapped because it did. So I'm just going to put this band back on. This is a bit hard on camera, but I'll try to show you. So, you want to go through all of them so there are no annoying bands. Grab the top two. You might want to do one at a time if you're not sure if you're grabbing one or two or three. And don't force it, you can use your finger gently. And move it to there. And do the same thing, so it's like that. I know I'm grabbing two bands, so I'll do that. So carefully. We're doing the middle last because if you remembered we were going there first and then we connected those bands. But now it should be a bit easier. With all those bands they should 
be two left, so don't miss it. Oops, this is a bit hard, even though it's the last part. This part might be easier for you. And when I'm stuck, I find the bands and stretch them out so I can see where they are. But in this case, I can't really find it, so I'll just be right back. Okay, so I fixed the problem and I realized that since I, I think I grabbed three bands and so then it got kind of mixed up, but that will still work, it will still look fine. Anyway, we're almost done hooking, go into all these bands carefully, grab these two bands, don't force it, if you can't hook them just put them on. Those inside that one band, put these two, go inside the double cap band, grab those two bands, carefully hook them diagonally, hook once in the middle, don't hook it yet, the last one, go inside all these bands, grab those two, hook them up, Go inside that one there. Hook it that way. And now you can hook this part. And hook this. So go inside here and hook this. Now we just need one more band. But you can use two bands if you're scared that this might snap on its own. So I'll use two bands just to show you. And you want to put onto your hook. So make sure your hook is through all of those bands. Otherwise, if it's not, then it'll fall all apart. So grab those bands and pull them through. And put both of the ends onto your hook. Grab the back two bands or the back band. Pull them over move them so that it is up here pull it up not too tight because lots of times i did that and it's not. so now you can put it onto your finger and you can start taking this up okay so i just time lapsed that part and what i mean by time lapse was i used the new kind of feature on Apple iPads and but anyway you can stretch it out carefully and it should look something like this and don't cut this band otherwise because this is holding on and then all of this will fall apart and you don't want it to do that so now, the last part, if you want, this is optional, you don't have to. If you want it to have no feet, and so it looks kind of like this, what you want to do is, you want to go through this, these two bands, through these two bands, and go through. So it looks something like this. And grab one band. But you can use two if you want. Pull them through. And just pull it tight. And then hide the slip knot by going through somewhere in the middle. It doesn't really matter. And just pull that. Subscribe.
and she.